Well, despite a city ordinance prohibiting outdoor marijuana grows in Pueblo, people are still doing it. Many of them are under the impression that that's legal. It's kept the narcotics unit busy all year long, responding to 90 different homes so far. Laura Wilson has been tracking this issue the past few weeks for us. She joins us now with this story you'll only see on News 5. Laura. Now, if you take a look at this Facebook video, it was shared last month and it really seemed to spark a big debate. The person who posted it was asking for help in IDing the people who stole the marijuana right out of this yard. And that led to a lot of people questioning whether the homeowner was allowed to have those plants there to begin with. There's a lot of confusion between state, city and county laws. So we went on a ride along today with Pueblo Police to help clear things up for you. I just want to talk to you. You're not in any trouble. Narcotics detective Vince Bacosic has been making a lot of these house calls lately. I heard him lock the door. Letting homeowners know their outdoor marijuana grows are illegal in city limits. I have three plants. Okay, can we talk to you about it? Code enforcement manager Karen Wilson says the city ordinance is very clear. Easy answer to everything is no outdoor grows are allowed in the city at all. Ever. Though the narcotics unit says a lot of growers they come across are unaware they're breaking the law. Wow, well, what the hell? I have yeah. my yeah. license. They have researched what the state regulates, but they have failed to research what municipalities regulate. In a lot of their minds, the state says you can, so they believe that they're perfectly legal to do so. Which was the case for Enrique Concio, who pulled up to this house just before we were getting ready to leave. I was told by neighbors that in the past they had no problems, no questions. Uh, so I went ahead by reading some literature on, on the web that did state that Colorado did allow to grow outside. 871. The main goal for the narcotics division is to educate people about what they can and can't do within city limits and to explain the safety concerns. There was an instance a few years ago where someone had a large outdoor grow and they shot a 13 year old boy with a pellet gun and we want to prevent things like that. But all you got to do is jump over that and I'm in there stealing the plants. Do you see my True. point? Yeah. Those that yeah. were compliant today. Appreciate you being cooperative. Yeah. Have a good day. Got off with a warning, provided they get rid of their plants. As for this home. Okay, I guess we'll play a different way. Thank you. They'll likely be getting another knock on the door soon, this time with a search warrant in hand. It'll probably be state charges, and we'll let the courts that way deal with it. And something else to clarify in that city ordinance, it says all grow operations shall be conducted in a fully enclosed and locked space. And there's been some confusion there as well. Having a fence with a lock on it just doesn't cut it. And greenhouses are also not allowed. So we do have a link to the ordinance to help answer some of your questions. You can visit our website at koaa.com for more information. Rob Elizabeth, back to you.